Hello everyone, this is Heath from Isa's Customer Support Team. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade system drive with the clone option in Isa's to do backup in just three easy steps. Okay, the first step is to connect the new hard drive to the machine. In order to do that, we need a new hard drive, a SATA collection cable. Usually, you will get one from the vendor where you buy the drive. Just disconnected all the connection cables and wires from the case, then lay it down and open the side cover. And connect the SSD to the motherboard with a SATA cable and the power line. Normally, there would be several free power lines in the case for you to use. Just pick one of them. And make sure the new drive is correctly and tightly collected. After that, you probably need a screwdriver to screw down the drive. After everything is done, close the case, put it back, and put it into Windows for the next step. Now we need to initialize the new drive and actually run the clone process. If you did everything correctly in step 1, you will get a prompting message with two options MBR and GPT in Windows Disk Management. Just initialize the drive to the type equal to the source drive. I mean, they need to work in the same mode or type, both MBR or both GPT. And now it's time for Isa's to do backup to show you the magic. Just launch it. You may install it on a source drive and click System Cologne to start the process. System boot related partitions will be automatically selected as clone source. So just click the new drive to make it as a clone target. Here, since we use a SSD in this case, so just enable the optimize for SSD option, then start the process. And I know the backup speed really concerns most users, but since the backup speed varies in different cases, different hardware and different system performance, so there is actually no way to give a certain answer. All I can give you is that, on average, it takes one hour to transfer 100 gigabytes data. And, and here is an option which can help you shut down the PC after the clone finishes. If you're not going to bed before the process finishes, then just leave the option behind. Here is a screenshot for enterprise users where to find the system clone option. The last step is easy to accomplish. They disconnected the source drive, then boot from the new drive to finish the job. Or if you want to keep the old drive, just make some changes in BIOS to make sure new drive is in the first place of the boot order. If you still have questions about the process or need assistance during the operation, then just feel free to contact our support team by sending an email to support.isas.com or come to our live chat service.